Well, I thought I had a clog in the hot end today, but after sticking a pin in and then using the hot Allen wrench and cleared the hot end, I discovered that the jam or the blockage is actually in the extruder. So I'm going to take that out. One point five millimeter there, two millimeter screws. Take the take the hot end off here. Okay, we can see into there, and there is the piece of melted filament. Unfortunately, I didn't have the camera recording while I removed this little piece of uh, filament, but uh, once the screw on the side was removed and the spring in that little end cap piece, then this will slide back and you can pull out the gear and then you can get down into the uh, area where the filament goes through. Reassembly, let's put this back in. Pull it to the left there. That back in. And then this will just drop back into place, maybe. And then we can tighten that back up. So that's back on. We can put the cover on. those four screws. All right, got that back together. That looks good. position here. Okay. 
Okay, back together. That was all that was in there. Put the assembly back in and put our three screws back in. Pull that roll of filament away. That's the second time this has done it to me uh, today. So I'm guessing it's probably a bad roll of filament, but who knows. Put the connectors back in here, maybe. All right, we'll put the AMS back on and test it out.